channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Andrea or Andrea. Either pronunciation works for me. I answer to both. Today's video is an exciting one because it's a Shop Miss A haul. I haven't shopped with Miss A forever, it seems. I think the last time I bought things from their website was, I want to say like 2015, 2016. So it's been a while. I am going to put a clip of the box that the items came in and then I will get back to you guys with what I bought. The box that the Shop Miss A items that I purchased came in is just a plain brown box. Ignore this. This is where the tape and the shipping label with my address was on so I just tore that off. And when you open up the box it has a piece of pink tissue paper with the Miss A sticker on there. and. They did a really good job packing everything. So you open up the flaps and there's the packing slip with my items. And I think they checked everything off because you can see that they circled whatever is in there. And these are the items inside. So we'll get into that. So inside the box at the very top, you probably spotted this rolled up at the top the pink tissue paper everyone knows what underwear looks like that's what's in there i think i bought how many did i get three i got three of them um it's just the ones that have the band that says love on it and each of those were a dollar 77 so majority of the items in this haul were a dollar but there is only like a handful that are more than a dollar the ones that are more than a dollar i will let you know the prices, but the ones that are just a dollar, I won't reiterate this price every time. So let's just get into the rest of the items here. So I removed this black scarf that you're seeing. It's an infinity scarf out of the plastic to show you what it looks like because the other four scarves, which were $1.88 a piece, I won't take them out of the package because I'm sending them to my mom for like the end of this year kind of thing when it's winter up north, she'll have them. So like I said, this one is an infinity scarf. For myself, I got it in black and I will show you hers that I got in navy. But it looks like this. It's really soft and it was made by the LLF brand, Love of Fashion in New York. And these are the four ways you can wear it. So the double scarf, the scarf with hood, the high neck double hood and the basic scarf. So I thought that was really nice. So like I said, it's an infinity scarf. So I bought four infinity scarves, one for myself, one and then three for her. And then the other scarf that's at the bottom, which I show you, that one I believe they're calling it a blanket scarf. So this one here is in navy. So it's the exact same like design as mine, but mine is black and hers is navy. I got that. I got this print here for her. You can see that. And this is in the color gray. And then the other one I got with the same print. This one is in khaki. And the one that I was talking about that is, sorry for all the noise, that is a different style is the blanket scarf. And this is what it looks like when it's open. A huge square and you can wear it like style it these four ways and this is in the color let me say taupe yeah this is in the color taupe so i picked up those for her the other item that wasn't a dollar is this shampoo scalp massager in the color blue they also had a pink color this was $1.55 because as you can see, it goes to charity. This one says part of the proceeds protect animals against abuse. So I just grabbed for that. And then these. So if you watch my previous haul, the Dollar Tree haul, you would have seen, well, you would have heard that we are in the process of moving. So I packed up items that I figured we wouldn't be using while we're at this house until we move to the other house. 
but I was wrong because the other day we wanted to make um, chocolate chip muffins and then I wanted to pack some almonds um, in my lunch bag, long story short, and I didn't want to like eyeball the size of the almonds and all that jazz. So I figured I'd get a set of the measuring cups. Now these were $1.88 because part of the proceeds go for the same, no, this one, it has A plus on it. So part of these proceeds go to children's education and they were $1.88 as you see there and they're five cups. So the smallest one is this one here. And you can also take off this tab here, but I didn't take them off. Well, I took them off and then I put them back on for the video. So hopefully you all can see. It's being difficult there, no, there we go. So that's the smallest cup. And then it just goes up in sizes there. And the orange one. And the largest one is the blue. And it just looks like that. So these were $1.88. And I love that they come in like their own little plastic baggy thingy. And then I also, just to have like a matching set, I guess you could say, I grabbed the measuring spoon set. And this one is was just a dollar, like I said. So this one doesn't have like any proceeds going to any charity. But that's the smallest spoon. Next size up. The third one. The fourth one. And the fifth one then I wanted to try um, these poop bags but the reason why I bought this initially was for the dispenser so the dispenser as you can see it's in the shape of a dog bone so I thought this was so stinking cute so we'll use these for our two fur babies little man's fur baby is Maverick He's a golden retriever. And then my fur baby is Blitz. He's a German shepherd. So I thought this was really, really cute to take them out and have them do their business. So this one was $1.55. And as you know, part of the proceeds go to protect animals against abuse. And what you get is the dispenser itself two rolls of 20 bags and then the leash clip there so I thought that was really cute this also this was the beige this is the beige color and it also comes in pink but we have two boy dogs I didn't like that they have the pink but we'll just deal with it but inside you can see that they already have the blue um, bags inside there but I didn't want the bone to be pink so I just got the beige color for that moving right along i saw these and i figured i would buy the two colors that they have one for little man's bathroom and one for mine so this one is they're calling it blue so it looks like this and this rack kind of thing inside it comes out so they have it modeled with the makeup sponges but i was going to use it for soap like a bar of soap like our soap that we clean our face with that way it can dry on the rack and then we'll take the rack out and clean like the tray that's underneath it if that makes any sense so that was blue. that's the blue one that's what it is and then i got the other color that they had available which was the brown and that's what that looks like there. And I needed some more combs because I don't know, I was being like, I don't know how rough I was being with my comb and it snapped the other day. So I just picked up these two. This one's a smaller one, but this is the Easy Grip Handle Comb. And then I got the bigger one, the handle, it just says handle comb. It's a bigger size than this other one with the grip. So it just looks like that and if you see my nails i'm sorry i'm going to try for the next video or the video after to 
take these nails off because they're driving me up the wall. I swear to goodness, nails on everybody else except me looks phenomenal. And when I get these done, they look atrocious. I don't know <laughs> what the heck it is, but I cannot rock actual nails. Like, I just can't. So since I am off at the hospital, I figured I would treat myself and get my nails done because at work we're not allowed to have nail, long nails or nail polish on our nails. So since I'm off for two weeks, I figured treat yourself and get your nails done. Never again. The most I'll do is just like a, a manicure, but never getting nails done because it never looks good on me. It always looks whack. So the other two items I picked up are these phone grips. They're the pop sockets. So they had two different design styles. So they had Mr. Avocado. I thought it was so stinking cute. Like, look at the belly. It's the seed. Like, isn't that so cute? And then I picked up Miss Avocado. So those are what those look like. And we're almost done here. So there's only like makeup hair stuff, and lippies. So, like I've been saying throughout the video, I just absolutely love the way Miss A sends their stuff packaged. Okay, so I bought one of the castor oil. They have a ton of these hair oils, but look how stinking cute this is. They actually put it in like a clear Miss A plastic instead of just throwing it inside the box, if that makes any sense. So, the little details. It's very appreciated. So we'll stick with the hair stuff. So let me, before I take this out, sorry for all the noise. This is how the hair mask, they packed everything inside their bag. So on the top, I got the macadamia oil. This one claims to moisturize and strengthen the hair. That one, a tea tree oil helps prevent dry itchy scalp i'm gonna try that on little man this one is the extra virgin olive oil helps repair dry split ends because heaven knows i've been having crazy split ends like i don't know what's going on and then the argan oil helps tame and prevent hair frizz and then the last three and this is a different brand this one is for damaged hair and split ends with shea butter another argan oil this one claims to strengthen the hair and this is from the nature spirit brand and another nature spirit and i love that they're made in the usa and then this one is another castor oil and this one claims to be pro growth so those are those. Okay, so then these are the last items that I've picked up. As you can see right here, another Miss A bag. Okay, so I'm going to start with the lip products and the first three lip products that I'm starting with, sorry for the noise once again, are, oh my gosh, this took me back to when I was a little girl. I know y'all seen this and oh my gosh, when I saw these, I was a little girl once again because I know you've seen these lip glosses. Like I thought I was the coolest kid when I had these in my pocket and in my backpack. Like look at these. So I they had other flavors, scents, whatever you wanna call them. But these were the three that I used to rock when I was a little girl. So the strawberry, the cherry and the grape these oh my goodness these things when i saw them on the website i hurried up and put them in my cart and checked out i have to make another order because i literally left other things because when i saw these i was like i have to get them because this took me back so <laughs> i had to get those three and the other thing i wanted to try was their AOA Studio Lip Gloss, Lip Oil Gloss, and I got the uh, Cocoa Butter one. They had other ones, but I really wanted to try the Cocoa Butter. 
and sorry guys, I didn't mean to hit you. And this lip scrub, it says sugar lips. And I got the honey, I think it is. Yeah, there it is, the honey. And these lip gloss, by the way, they look like they have a color, but it's not like extremely noticeable, if that makes sense. They're like really, they're somewhat clear, but not super duper clear like this next lip gloss that I'm gonna show y'all. So this one is also the AOA Studio. This is the Glazed High Shine Lip Gloss. It's clear, but they're calling it Crystal. So I don't know if y'all can see, there it is. They're calling it Crystal, but it's really clear. I guess it's Crystal Clear. And then this last lippy, oh my goodness. Okay, so my friend, Kathy, here on YouTube, no guts, no glory, and the mister that is, Brad, I will link their channel in the description. Y'all have to go over to their channel and give them some love. I initially saw this next lippy from Kathy when she hauled her Shop Miss A years back and she hauled so many colors but the one that i fell in love with was the one that's called girl power now this is also an aoa studio lip gloss but this one is the diamond lip gloss looks like this like look at the glitter in there and like i said it's called girl power so i had to pick that up so shout outs to kathy for hauling that for letting me see that that even exists <laughs> And then, let me just take everything out. Stop making noise. I wanted to try their Banana Perfect Setting Powder. There it is there. I wanted to give that a try. And we have also in the other video before this one, the Dollar Tree haul. I was talking about dark circles under my eyes. So I'm trying to find products to like mask it kind of thing. Cause I know like dark circle um, ointments, treatments, oils, whatever you want to call them. Those take a while. So I need like a quick fix to try to mask the dark circles. Cause I work night shift and for the last stretch, I work 16 nights, was off two then went back for 15 nights and then was off one and then went back for four nights and then now I'm on my two week staycation, which I need. So I wanted to try these, what are they calling it? They are calling this the Buildable Satin Foundation, but I wasn't sure which color. So I took the last, yeah, the last, um, the last brownish color from the medium skin tone group because they had three groups. They had the light, the medium, and the dark. So I took the last tone from the medium and then the first one from the dark. So this one here is 310 Amber. This one's the last one from the medium group. And then this one is 311 Cappuccino, the first one from the dark group. I don't know if that's coming off as a difference there you go so this one's a little lighter and this is a little darker so i'm hoping that if i mix those it'll be okay so these two items were a dollar 88 each and then the last items are all eyeliners so i got the regular classic black and uh, this one is a gel eyeliner just looks like this And this is in the color black. And then I got, these are the AOL, AOA, why am I saying AOL? AOA Studio Arista. And these are the eyeliner pens. And I got a black one in that. I'm just gonna focus. Well, I got a black, you know what black looks like there. And then I also got it in green. So this is what that looks like. And that's in green. And then the, uh, the last 
where's the other one? Okay, here's the other one. So the other eyeliners that I got were the Eyes On Me Vivid Liquid Liners. So I got black, but they're calling it edgy. It's black. And that's what the front looks like. Then the other one I got is white, but they're calling it Oh La La. Not Ooh La La, but Oh La La. And the last one I got is green, but they're calling it Hey You. So that's that. And there we go. So that's it. And these ones, they also had a few other colors. Um, there was a pink. I want to say there was a blue and I think a yellow, but I'm for sure there was a pink one. So that is it. Let me just look around, and make sure I don't have anything else. Nope, that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.